Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. God bless you. My name is AOC. Um, welcome to this channel, Atmosphere of Prophecy, Word and Prayer. I'm so excited to have you. If you are new here in this channel, welcome. God bless you. Thank you so much for subscribing to this channel. Thank you for being a part of this family. I really appreciate you a lot. Maybe the video came on your timeline and you choose to watch this particular video. God bless you. Um, those of you that have been here, God bless you always. I'm excited. In this channel, we talk about the love of God. We talk about family matters. We talk about prophecy, what is happening at every season. As a spirit of God, lead us. But right now, I have a series I want us to begin. It's a beautiful series. It's called Women in the Bible. It's a wonderful series that I've been studying some time, studying the, the stories of women and their impact in the Bible. In fact, the world would be... Um, would not be complete if women are not. And so every lady out there, I'm shouting out to you. You are so amazing. We thank God for you. You made the world beautiful. Imagine the world without women. All the men will be just fighting, so disorganized. So I don't know how it would have really been. Just imagine it for a minute, a world without women. <laughs> as much as we are saying things, as much as we are abusing women, as much as we are... Uh, 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 we are talking, whatever it is, as much as women have their own fault. Men also do, but we want to appreciate women. I personally want to thank God for the life of every woman. God saw the need of a lady or a woman on earth, so he brought that. And so on this series, I'll be analyzing every woman in the Bible. Not all, really, but some women that I really studied their lives and I saw how amazing their lives is. And this one, I will start with the first woman, which is Eve. Eve. Eve is the first woman on earth. I'm going to make this video somehow a little brief so that you can do more research. Maybe you should take time to also study about women in the Bible and their impact. Let's talk about Eve. Eve, she is the first woman. Eve is the wife of Adam. Eve came from Adam. The Bible says, after God made everything, he saw that it was not good for man to be alone. So Eve came as a helpmate. It was not good for man to be alone. And when Adam slept, God took part of his rib and made a beautiful woman. The moment Adam saw that, after every name in Adam gave, when Adam saw Eve, she, I mean, he immediately knew this is what I needed. He says, let's make for him a helpmate. Somebody that would be with him to help him in every kind of you know, circumstance and fulfill his purpose. So Eve came to the scene. And ever since Eve came to the scene, Adam's life was decorated. From there, from there, Adam had a companion. Adam was able to communicate with somebody. Well, Eve was the mother of all. She was the mother of the foundation. The foundation mother called her that way. She... She was the first person to experience what marriage is all about. And one of the things I learned from their marriage is they married for love and purpose. There wasn't any... Uh, Eve did not marry Adam because Adam had money. Eve did not marry Adam because Adam did. Adam was looking tall, black, fair, and, you know, broad chairs, these six parts. Eve got married out of love and for purpose. And the next thing you're going to see in that, that the life of Eve is that there was God first in their marriage. And you see that the marriage lasted. It did not break. The marriage lasted. It did not divorce. It lasted. That was the first marriage. Now, I, I don't know if you have ever been, uh, you have done something first in your family. She was the first person to marry on earth. So she know, she she didn't have any experience somewhere. She didn't learn from any book. She didn't study, read, um, like when you want to marry we say, okay, you have to read four books, five books. She didn't read them anywhere. She just, she just got like that. You know what I mean? And, and you also see that if she was the first person to understand what labor pain is, how it really means to conceive. And she had her weakness. She had her fault where they were tempted, both of them. And the devil came to deceive her when the husband was not there. And... I think one of the major things you're going to learn from the story of the woman Eve is that despite the fact that she was the first woman and who, who actually came into the institution of marriage and she was able to portray love to the husband and fulfill scripture and help the husband, you know, um, 
She didn't get mad when the husband says, it's the wife you gave me that caused me to eat this. That God clothed them, and we never heard any place where Eve was talking to the husband. Why did you blame me? Why did you say this before the Lord? You know, like other women might say that, and they both served the Lord together. You see a family where the woman Eve was a powerful woman. She was the first woman that received the prophecy that out of her womb, there's going to be a seed that would bruise the head of serpent. That is, that is, that is how it came well, from the garden when they fell. God said from this day, you, this is it. God gave them punishment or judgment on that part. And uh, it was just amazing. Are you the Eve in your house? What kind of woman are you? Are you the first person breaking the protocols in your family? Are you the first person married? Are you the first person doing strange things? Are you the first person? How do you how do you manage that? You know, Eve was able to take care of her house. Eve had an experience of pain. She gave birth to two sons. She gave birth to the first son. The brother killed Cain and Abel. The brother killed one of them. Killed the brother. Imagine you have your child and you lose the child, killed by your own son. How will you feel? How will you, you know? I, I try to look at Eve in that at fact. Like, how did she manage that? How was she looking at Cain? Like, you killed Abel? How did she manage the pain? I thought it, it was a pain that was in her heart so much. The Bible says when she gave birth to another child, she now used that child as a consolation to Abel. I said, the Lord gave me this one to replace Abel. It was a consolation. Abel was a good son. Abel was an amazing son. See, so she faced that pain of losing a loved one. And she didn't quit. She didn't give up. She still loved the husband, still loved her family, and she still stood by them. Have you experienced that before? Uh, you know, you are the first. You imagine the loss of that. Imagine that. And I just want to say that if was too beautiful, too amazing, that she understood the mind of God. And if you are the if in your house, you should be able to know that. No matter the challenges that happen, no matter what goes on, how many times you people fall and rise in your home, you should be able to stand firm. Women are important. And I celebrate the woman if. Tell me on the comment section, what is your most important lesson you learned from if as the first woman? What did you learn? Have you studied about her? Please let me read it in the comment section. Let me hear from you. What is it? What do you admire about Eve? As for me, I admire her faithfulness in God and the fact that she stick to her marriage. I've explained my what do you admire about the first mother on earth, Eve? What did you admire? Let me read the comment section. Thank you so much. Please subscribe to this channel if you have not subscribed and click the notification bell. God bless you. Shalom.